And should you be playing Dragon's Dogma 2? Is the game worth it? And should you be putting out that $60 from your wallet in order to purchase this game? And honestly speaking, from my experience, I've been playing plenty of open world RPG games and that's basically what this entire channel is focused around. And never once in my entire life have I ever played any open world RPG games that's better than Dragon's Dogma. Now keep this in mind that I'm speaking about a game which was released all the way back in 2012. And it's been 12 years since all the Dragon's Dogma fans have been waiting for a final sequel for this game. March 22nd is gonna be the final date as to when this game is gonna be destroying the gaming world until Grand Theft Auto 6 arrives. And of course, we know GTA 6 is gonna be the all-time favorites. But when it comes to open world RPG games with extremely fantasizing lores, if you're a sucker for these things, then Dragon's Dogma is definitely a day one purchase for all of you fans out there. Now, for those of you guys who are not familiar with what this game is all about, it's basically an open world RPG game that's set in an everlasting lush open world fantasy RPG environment, which has a lot of locations for players to explore and learn about the new lores. And the game is filled with plenty of side activities and dynamic events, dynamic weather systems, and plenty of stuff that you can basically explore as you play around this open world. Now, the game consists of plenty of different plane sites like mountains, lush evergreen forest and small towns. You have villages. You also have big massive castles and huge towns that you can explore, which is filled with NPCs and a lot of side activities and a lot of dynamic events happening all around the players. And you can also explore the underworld, even the dungeons. And the game consists of a lot of monsters and mythological creatures that you will be coming across, which includes a lot of lores and you will take up contracts that you have to slay some monsters. There are also contracts which are pretty funny where you have to wait out the night and catch a thief like the ones that we played in first Dragon's Dogma game. There are a lot of interesting characters, a lot of interesting NPCs that you'll come across this game in the main storyline in a massive way. Now you're going to be attached to all of the characters that you see in the mainline stories and the attachment in this game's lore is going to be so intense that you will basically feel the emotion when any of the character ends up dead or you basically have the choices in order to kill a character or sometimes the game just gives you an option where you have to kill a character that you are very much attached to in order to save another character who's also someone that you will end up carrying. So they're going to be very hard, tough decisions in the game, which of course will be emotionally altering your mind state. And it's going to leave you in a very depressing state once you finish the game, because the lore itself is very much attached to the player's mindsets and how the incredible lore writing is just right onto the point with all of the different sections of the game, giving you one of the most replayable advantage. Now, if you play the game for the very first time, you're going to be investing at least about 40 hours into the entire game. Now, the game has different classes, and these classes are pretty much just known as vocations, where you have to create your own character, choose different classes, one being the warrior, and then you have mage, and then you have the archers, and you have thieves. It's pretty much the same as uh, plenty of other games that you might have played, like Call of Duty, for example. You have snipers, you have the shields, you have the assault rifles, and all of these different units and classes, basically. So each time you play the game, you can explore all of these different types of characters and the entire gameplay is going to be completely different if we try out all of these different characters and the storyline is also going to be focused on the backstory of these characters and also it is based on what kind of choices you make throughout the game. Now Dragon's Dogma 2 is basically going to be one of those games which is going to offer you so much more freedom in terms of replaying the game and it's going to give you multiple choices and you're going to be experiencing different types of lores that you first might have missed out on your first playthrough. So even if you play the entire game for four different times and spend 40 hours in each playthrough, you're still going to be left with so much content that could have otherwise changed the entire storyline depending on what kind of choices you make throughout the entire game. So this is basically how much details and work that has been put into this game. And honestly speaking, it's taken the developers almost 12 years in order to develop this game. So that's a very huge time for any of the AAA RPG games to take in order to develop it and that already tells you on how much effort has been put into this game and how it's going to offer you so much more replayable features and the best part about Dragon's Dogma and especially the new sequel Dragon's Dogma 2 from all the gameplays and trailers that has been shared not only is the game looking absolutely fantastic in terms of graphical fidelity but the game also offers you some variations in terms of how the combat system works including the explorations and 
all that stuff. So the combat is basically going to be varied based on what type of a character you're playing as. Now my favorite is of course going to be the fighter class where you're going to be having the basic shield and sword. And for the second vocation or classes for my pawns, I would love to choose either mage or I could also go for the archery. So these are going to be the best classes. Now of course I'll make an entire video showing you guys which is going to be the perfect class for you guys before you start playing Dragon's Dogma 2. So make sure you guys are subscribed and stay tuned for the other video which is currently in making. I will release it anytime in the coming days. But as of now, let's focus on the combat system. It seems like you're going to be having so many different variations in terms of how you're going to be playing this game. Now, all characters are going to be completely different in terms of weapons and in terms of how they move, in terms of what kind of abilities they have. So the entire gameplay itself is going to feel like you're playing a completely different game each time you try changing the different classes or different players. So you need to make sure that the characters that you're going to be creating in this open world RPG are going to be the type of characters that you will enjoy playing your entire playthrough and the weapons they use is something that you're going to be familiar with and also you end up liking it one of the most important decisions that you're going to be making in this game of course. Now comparing the first game Dragon's Dogma with any of the most critically proclaimed games like The Witcher 3, Elden Ring, The Elder Scrolls, Skyrim and also The Legend of Zelda and Fallout, Dragon's Dogma has already proclaimed to be by far one of the best games out there when it comes to open world RPG titles. So if you haven't already played this game, I would honestly recommend you guys to go ahead and play it right away before the game comes out on March 22nd. Now, if you don't have the time and you don't have the money to buy the first game, you just want to stick around with the second sequel. You don't want to be wasting your money or time. Then you can, of course, go ahead and watch this video from a YouTuber named Your Favorite Son, who has made a complete history and retrospective of what Dragon's Dogma complete game is so you can basically just watch this one video and you will be familiar with what the entire first dragon's dogma game is so you will pretty much be prepared for the second sequel now, honestly if you ask me though i would recommend you guys to go ahead and play the entire game so you can experience each and every part of the game so the sequel could kind of just be more familiar to you in terms of how the world works and how the rpg system works and even the lore is going to be one of the huge parts because it's a sequel it's a direct continuation of the first storyline so it is of course going to be a very important thing that you play the first game so if you don't do it then of course it's fine you can just watch this video and you will be filled in with all the content that you need because this video is by far the best ones that i've seen out there on youtube who's completely managed to give you guys a full insight on what this game is all about and he has done an incredible job in making this video an hour and a half it's a huge video but it's definitely going to be worth it give it a shot if you haven't played the first game or even if you have already played it then you can just go ahead and watch this video once again so you can basically just refresh your mind before you jump into dragon's dogma 2 so if this video hasn't already gotten you guys excited for dragon's dogma 2 and if you haven't decided on whether i should buy this game or not then i don't know what is gonna be keeping you guys excited for this game you're probably not someone that enjoys content on open world rpg titles most probably but me of course i'm super excited for it i'm gonna be getting this game day one i'm gonna be playing the shit out of this game i will of course give my reviews i'll give you guys the best in class all the tips and tricks and all the guides basically everything you need about dragon's dogma 2 is going to be available right here on my channel it's going to be spoiler free of course i'm going to try to keep all of my videos as spoiler free as possible so if you're someone that is interested in this game and want all the spoiler free content with best tips guides and all the unlockable items locations and everything about the guide of the game then make sure to go ahead subscribe to the channel because i'm going to be uploading every single day right here on the channel it's absolutely free of cost for you guys to subscribe so make sure to go ahead do it right away so that you guys can stay updated with all the latest updates on dragon's dogma 2 now let me know down below in the comments are you guys going to be pre-ordering dragon's dogma 2 or have you already done it and which platform are you guys going to be playing it on and one of the biggest bummers that i've already seen is that the game is going to be coming out at 30 frames per second on the playstation 5 and xbox series x that's kind of a bummer right? i don't know why they would just lock it off at 30 frames per second but honestly man it's a bummer that I have to play this game on 30 FPS and I'm just looking for most probably some patch they might release in the future that couldn't lock to 60 frames. But nothing is of course going to be stopping me from enjoying Dragon's Dogma 2 and I would love to know which platform are you guys getting your game on. Leave your thoughts, leave your feedbacks in the comments. I would love to read them, reply to as many of you guys as I possibly can. And with that being said, if you guys did enjoy this video and if you guys are ready for Dragon's Dogma 2, then drop a like on this video, show your support to the video,
video content that I make for you guys every single day. It takes a lot of time, a lot of efforts, a lot of research that I put into making some of these videos. So you have just a couple of seconds to like this video would really make my day. So please like, just go ahead, show your support to your boy. And with that being said, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. And I'll see you guys on tomorrow's video. Until then, take it easy fams and goodbye.